new blades, and we're going to shave with them, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's BarbaraGeorgeToon.com. I'm back in our video. Thanks very much for joining me again. I really do appreciate it. Love getting together and talking all things wet shave with you. I know you have a lot of choices out there, so thank you very much for selecting my channel. Now, if you're new to this channel, make yourself at home, check out the other videos, and please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, we're going to have a shave with a brand new blade. Well, it's a brand new blade to me, and it's been recommended by viewers, Rapira. Now, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced in Russian. I don't know what the Russian pronunciation is. This is my Americanized pronunciation as I look at it. Another blade that I recently reviewed were these. And uh, many viewers, uh, many from Russia and others who are fluent in the Russian language, uh, very politely corrected me, and I believe the correct pronunciation of this is Voshod, I believe, or Voshod. Uh, I was saying Voskod, that's not it. It's either Voshod or Voshod, I think. <laughs> I've heard it pronounced Voshkod, but as was being pointed out to me, the K is silent. So I think it's Voshod, I think. Uh, I may have mangled that again. I apologize, and I'm not sure the correct Russian pronunciation of this particular blade. So I'm just going to settle with uh, Rapira right now. And I'm sure that, uh, uh, please correct me down the road. I would be more than happy to have you correct me so that I can pronounce this correctly in the uh, Russian language. But for now, I'm just going to say Rapira. Now, these are the Platinum Lux blades. And uh, they were about uh, $7.99 for 100 of them on Amazon.com. I have Amazon Prime, so I got free shipping with that. And uh, we're going to shave with them and uh, see how they perform. So we're going to kick it off with the Cube 2.0 from Phoenix Shaving that has Formula CK6, activated charcoal, which has a lot of great skin benefits, and it's also mentholated. We're going to be using Club Guy Shave Soap, also with uh, Formula CK6. It has that great Club Guy scent, which is an homage to Clubman Pinot, which is wonderful. And I think in uh, many ways, uh, Club Guy even surpasses that. Just a terrific, terrific scent. And CK6 offers wonderful, wonderful performance. We're going to whip it up. We're going to whip that lather up with my Amber Aerolite shaving brush from uh, Phoenix Shaving. I have it soaking in the sink right now. We're going to use the Phoenix Shaving Travel Scuttle. I have some hot water in the inner chamber right now. I have the soap in the Travel Scuttle, and I also have some hot water on there to kind of get things going. We're going to finish the uh, shave up with the alum, alum Block, with the Alum Block from Phoenix Shaving. That has the no-slip grip and the... Um, Dry dock system, yeah. <laughs> I said alum alum. Well, hey, it's twice as good as any other alum block I use out there, so I might as well repeat it. Uh, we're also going to follow that up with uh, Club Guy Aftershave Splash, which is just wonderful. Again, terrific scent. And of course, uh, for upstairs, the Club Guy Star Jelly, which is their aftershave balm. Now, the razor we're going to be using is going to be the Ascension Double Open Comb Twist Adjustable in copper. An absolutely fantastic razor and I've been getting some great shaves with it. So I'll show it to you right now. Here it is. And uh, let's open it up and let's get this blade installed. There's the handle and of course there is a, uh, a buffer ring right here that helps with the twist adjustability and uh, base plate and of course the, uh, the cap right there. Ah, just a terrific, terrific razor. Here's the Rapira blade right here. Let's open this guy up and let's pull out a blade and load it in in the razor. Okay, there it is right there. Set these aside over there. Okay, and let's open this up. Ooh, that's a good sign right there. These are double wrapped. I like that. Okay, double wrapped. That's nice. That's terrific. 
Okay, let me just set that down. Let's put the uh, cap there and the base plate. And let's get this blade out of the wrapper. Okay. All right. So here it is right here. Okay, we're going to just set that right there like that. I'm going to put the base plate on top. Here's the buffer ring that goes right there. And then the handle. Now the end tabs of the blade uh, are enclosed on this particular razor and they, this razor head has these terrific notches right here on each side. So it really allows you to get a nice grasp of this and, and you can really it really helps you to avoid slipping your hand slipping off of this when you're doing the twist adjustment so i've got it all the way snugged up and i'm going to turn it turn it back probably about an eighth of a turn there i think it's about an eighth of a turn so that opens up the blade gap a little bit and that's probably the perfect uh starting point for me with this razor okay so we got uh everything is all set the, uh, the soap has been soaking uh, the, here in the, in the travel scuttle. The brush has been soaking. So uh, let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. Okay, so I'm going to use the, uh, oops, I'm going to use the, um, I'm going to use the cube to wash the face and kind of degrease it a little bit and get it prepared for the lather process. Okay, all right, let's rinse. Okay, that's all set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dump this water off of the uh, scuttle there into the sink. And we're going to go ahead and get this brush. We're going to go ahead and whip up a ladder here. I'm going to do a combination of... Uh, Scuttle lathering here, building the lather in the scuttle, and also doing a little bit of face lathering as well. CK6 loves water, and I'm going to have to add a little bit of water to this to really get it going. And after I get this lather built up, then I'm going to go ahead and apply the cube to my face. Well, it's good and warm. I can just feel that hot water in the travel scuttle. It really is. <laughs> it's going to be a nice warm lather, especially during these winter months. It's very, very welcome. Okay. Boy, that's got a really, really good start to it. My gosh. I mean, look how much I have in there already. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me just set that down there. And let's wet the face one more time. I just want to put that little bit of water on there and go against the grain with the cube. And I'm going to do a little bit of face lather because I want to activate the... Uh, Cube 2.0. Okay, that's got it. So here, we're ready to go here. And we're just going to paint this on and also do a little bit of face lathering here with this. Okay, going to need some more water.
boom, lather. <laughs> wow. It's just wonderful how this just lathers up. You just add that water as you go and all of a sudden, boom, it just explodes. Absolutely wonderful. Wow, 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 wow. And I got plenty in the bowl. I got plenty in my brush. That's just absolutely, look, just absolutely fantastic. Okay, set that aside there. Okay, and razor's all set to go. I just got to heat it up under some hot, hot, hot water. And the, this is a copper razor, so it does retain that heat, and that adds to getting a nice warm shave. This lather is really nice and warm. Okay, we're gonna just gonna swirl a little bit to bring it to the proper temperature. Okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's nice and smooth. That is really a nice. That's a nice smooth pass. Wow. That's terrific. No tugging, no pulling. Not only are the end tabs enclosed, it has these great notches so you can adjust the razor during the shave, uh, but also has a nice slim profile so I can really get up underneath the nostrils and get those little bits there. That's uh, terrific uh, on that uh, with the grain north to south pass. Okay, first pass done. Let's rinse. A nice first pass. That's on par with a lot of other passes. Second pass usually tells me if my shave is going to be complete or if I'm going to need a touch up or a third pass, that sort of thing. But that was a nice, comfortable first pass. So let's lather up for pass number two. Just love the lathering process. And I I just love lathering. I really do. It's just such an enjoyable part of the shave for me. Okay. And again, another just another great lather that just knocks it out of the park for pass number two. That's fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. All right. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, snug this up. And then I'm going to back it off maybe about a 16th, right about there. And we're going to go with pass number two, east to west, across the grain. Now, did you see how easy that was? My hands were a little bit wet, but because of these notches here, my hand doesn't slip off. I'm, a, I'm able to safely twist this handle and adjust the, uh, the razor with uh, absolutely no problem. So that, that really is ingenious there, right there on the razor head. Okay. Uh, pass number two, east to west, across the grain. Boy, that's nice. 
That's a nice, smooth blade. Really did a nice pass coming across the chin. That was very nice and comfortable. All right, pass number two done. Let's rinse. You know what? <laughs> I'm done. That is a nice shape. I'm done, but I'm going to do a third pass. I'm going to snug the uh, razor all the way up. Let's snug it all the way up. There it is. It's snugged all the way up. So it's, it's, it is at its mildest point now, uh, or mildest setting. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to do a quick third pass. This has been a really enjoyable shave. And I've got a lot in the brush. I have a lot in the, uh, the scuttle. Look at that. Just, ah, just great. Okay, and again, a lot of the brush, plenty in the scuttle. I even have a little bit of remnant soap down there that hasn't mixed up because I tend to, yeah, you know, I tend to scoop out a little more, but I'm going to leave that in there. I'm just going to kind of wipe this out with a towel, leave that in there, and then just whip it up for a head shape. Uh, probably, uh, well, later on or tomorrow, we'll see. Okay, so this is uh, snugged all the way up here. And uh, we're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go uh, south to north against the green. Oh, that's beautiful. Really, really terrific. I'm just very impressed with this blade. I'm able to go against the grain in the corners of my mouth, which is uh, pretty darn good uh, with this setting and this blade. So uh, I usually try to do kind of a hybrid, go across and not so much go against, but kind of against across kind of a thing. And uh, that did pretty good. So I didn't push, push the envelope too much, but that was nice. All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Wow, that, <laughs> that's a nice shape. That is really, really wonderful. Boy, that's nice. That's a nice, that's close. I can feel that that's nice and close, but it was really smooth. We're gonna go with our two final rinses, one warm, one cold, warm water to uh, rinse off the excess slickness and get rid of some of that remnant soap and cold water to close the pores. So here's my warm water rinse. Okay, just needed a couple of splashes, about three splashes. Gonna sit over to the cold side. Nice cold water coming out of the pipes because, well, it's winter. And uh, the menthol from the Cube 2.0 should kick in and give me a real nice menthol kick. 
This is gonna, this will wake you up, believe me. All right, here's my cold water rinse. Oh, that's great. I like that so much I throw in a few extra splashes. Wow, that's fantastic. Really, really nice. Wonderful. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy. That's a nice shave. That really is. That's a nice shave. Well, let's see what kind of feedback we get. Here is the uh, Allen Block from Phoenix Shaving with the no slip grip in the dry dock system. So we're going to run this under some cold water and see what kind of feedback we get. All right, that's good right there. Smooth as ice. Maybe a couple of little zings, but no stinging at all. Man, that's that's nice. You know, a couple of little zings tell me that, yeah, I'm getting a little closer than usually, but boy, it was really comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Here is the dry dock system. Uh, good ventilation, so the air in the room will do the job in drying this out. All I gotta do is drop that in there like that and set it aside and you're good to go. All right, well, as I say, I've got uh, a lot here on the brush. Look at that, look at, <laughs> look at that, look at that. Oh, I love Formula CK6, I really do. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna clean the brush up and I'll be back to uh, uh, complete this shave. So uh, hang in there with me. These brushes are fantastic. These synthetic brushes are absolutely wonderful. They just clean up in a snap and uh, performance is great. Amber Aerolite is a terrific brush. Just It's one of my favorites from Phoenix Shading. Just a terrific, terrific brush. So we'll set that over there. And let me show you the uh, travel scuttle. I have a little bit of soap left there, and that's going to be more than enough to do another shave. Let's say a head shave. I am going to do a head shave. So let's say a head shave. <laughs> I am going to do a head shave with that later on. That's more than enough. So, um, yeah, going to just keep the stopper out of there. Here's the stopper here. I'm just going to keep that out and let that air out. And I'm going to have another shave with the Club Guy, that great Club Guy shaving soap. And speaking of great Club Guy, we're going to have uh, a splash of the aftershave right here. And beautiful scent. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. Okay, ooh, that's right there. Marvelous. Oh, that's great. That is just such a wonderful scent. Terrific. Terrific, terrific, terrific. And we're upstairs. Here is Star Jelly. Going to use just about, eh, about that much right there. So, yeah, I'm due for a head shave, but that's okay. Whether I do it today or tomorrow, Still a good idea just to hit the old dome with some of this because of the we're in cold weather season and this really has some nice skin food. So wow, that was a great shave. I like these blades a lot. These are really, really nice. Now, if I didn't mention it, these are uh made in Russia, right there, and I believe they have their headquarters in Moscow. So, did I hold that up correctly? Yes, I sure did. Yeah, made in Russia. I believe their headquarters are in Moscow. And again, uh, I believe, well, I, I pronounce it repair. I'm not sure about the pronunciation, but uh, the correct Russian pronunciation. But to my eye, it's repair. But boy, these uh, are terrific, terrific blades. These, these really, really are. These are really, really nice. I, I really enjoyed shaving with these. They had a very nice smoothness, and I was done after two passes. I did a third pass just to see how it would uh, how it would go. And this is this is going to be a B, uh, this is going to be a BBS shave, absolutely. Uh, just 
really, really wonderful. I like it. There's a nice smoothness to them. There's a nice efficiency. There's no tugging, no pulling. I'm guessing it's because of the uh, Platinum Lux coating that really helps. And I tend to like blades that have those kinds of coatings. This was terrific. This really, really gave me a nice shave. Now, some reviewers said that the first shave with a blade is a little rougher and then it smooths out on the second shave, the third shave, that sort of thing. I didn't experience that. I had a nice smooth pass right from the get-go. Of course, I'm, I am using a high-end razor in the uh, Ascension Double Open Comb Twist Adjustable Razor in copper. So that might have something to do with it too. Um, I'll have to use the blades and some other razors and kind of gauge that. But really, this was, this is a nice blade. And I've used other blades in in this in this razor and I've gotten good results. But boy, I got an exceptionally good result with this blade. Really, really, very, very close. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. And that's kind of a big selling point for me, really. I mean, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. I believe with the Voskhod, if I have, I have to look at the review again, I believe the Voskhod or Voskhod, I think this gave me one small little nick that sealed up with some cold water. Uh, and, um, and I think that, I um, can't remember what, what razor I used with these. I'll have to look again. Uh, I, I apologize. But uh, regardless, these were good. But boy, these are really, really nice. These really did sing for me. So, um, you know... Uh, another great blade recommended by viewers. Thank you very, very much. I enjoyed them. And it's $7.99 for 100 of them. That's a great deal on Amazon right now. So I'll have a link below to those, as well as all the other gear that I've used here. And uh, if you find you don't like them, well, you know what? You're only out $8. Bucks. Um, you might want to try a sampler first uh, for about 8 bucks, and maybe get 5 or 10 of those in a sampler see if they work for you. But boy, they I'm glad I bought them. I really am. They are a terrific, terrific blade. And I got a really, really nice, smooth shave. I mean, I am surprised how smooth and close that is. Really. And I did turn up the aggression a little bit on this razor, too. It'll be interesting to try it in some of my conventional adjustable razors so I can kind of look at the numbers and see where what's sitting on that and see how the razor performs uh, you know, looking at numbered settings. Yeah, that'll be really, really neat. But I'm excited. These are really nice performing blades. I think they're going to be great in my Vikings blade uh, Stonehenge, Godfather Stonehenge, and the 5BC, the Chieftain, in the Edwin Jagger razors I have, in the, the Turbo, the Turbo from Global Shape Clubs International. I'm going to try that Turbo. I'm also going to try it in the, uh, the Metaphor from Phoenix Shaving. That's another razor I'm going to try. Try the uh, blade in. Really excited about these blades because I had such a great shape. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so to give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the Executive Shaping Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetuning.com slash blog for my comic strip George. Other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. You saw a lot of it here today. As a matter of fact, I think this is an all Phoenix shaving shave. The only thing I was not from Phoenix shaving were the blades, but everything else was Phoenix shaving gear. Great stuff. Check out Global Shave Clubs International for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Radio where you'll find all the products I review in this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.